Hello and welcome, I'm Vincent McCory and this is Africa 54. We begin in London where they are welcoming the birth of the royal baby with ca cannon fire. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, William and Kate, welcomed their son, the new prince, on Monday. Global media had been buzzing for days awaiting the arrival of the latest heir to the British throne. Now the world awaits a name for the latest member of the royal family. Joining us now from our London bureau is our person. Uh, Monday was indeed a joyous occasion in Britain. Uh, tell us, how did the world learn of uh, the birth of this baby? Well, Vincent, officials actually put out an email to reporters, even though they had not planned to do that. They did it because the deadlines for the morning newspapers were approaching and there was not a moment to lose. But then they proceeded with the original plan. In this age of social media and instant worldwide communication, the royal birth was announced in the traditional way with a brief notice posted outside Buckingham Palace. Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Cambridge, was safely delivered of a son at 4.24 p.m. today. Her Royal Highness and the child are both doing well. Five characters shorter and it could have been a tweet. The baby's name has not yet been announced and no photo has been made public. As soon as he was born Monday afternoon, he became third in line to the British throne. The baby was born to the Duchess of Cambridge, the former Kate Middleton, wife of the Queen's grandson, Prince William. She spoke about the importance of family and her desire to have children during a Reuters interview shortly after she and the Prince were engaged three years ago. It, it's very important to me and, uh, you know, I, I hope we'll you know, be able to have a happy family ourselves. Prince William is second in line to the throne after his father, Prince Charles. The royal baby is also the grandson of the late Princess Diana. The pomp and ceremony of a monarchy and its system of hereditary succession seem hopelessly outdated to some, but not to historian Miles Taylor at the University of London. I think there is still a place for monarchy. It is the most visible and familiar symbol of our national identity, whether that's British or English or formerly you know, imperial, now, now Commonwealth. People not only respect it, I, I, I think they, they are enthralled to it. Indeed, the royal baby was a celebrity before he was born, complete with his own unofficial souvenirs. But the role he will inherit will be very different from the one his great-grandmother took on more than 60 years ago. Queen Elizabeth presided over the evolution of the royal family from an unapproachable imperial ideal to a modern, less formal first family. Still, someday, barring unforeseen tragedy or political upheaval, the new royal baby will become king, head of state in more than a dozen countries, leader of the 54-nation commonwealth, and symbol of Britain's national identity, with a lineage dating back hundreds of years. It's a heavy responsibility, one the child will spend a lifetime preparing to take on. Al Pesson, VOA News, London. Well, thanks a lot, Al, for that package. Now, yesterday was uh, really ecstatic. Uh, fill us in on how things uh, felt like in London today. Well, today there was quite a lot of talk and a lot of buzz about the royal birth last night. The way I first heard about it was that the bell of the church near where I live started to ring last night, and I'd been checking my email about every 10 minutes, but it was actually the church bell that gave me the first indication. Now, uh, you, you, you did in your package uh, uh, talk to the gentleman there about the relevance of the monarch. How big uh, of a debate is that in Britain? Well, there's really not a debate anymore. There was a debate, oh, maybe 20 or so years ago, especially around the time of the death of Princess Diana. Uh, but nowadays, the Queen is tremendously respected. Her 60th anniversary, the Jubilee year last year, was a huge celebration. The young royals are very popular. Even Prince Charles, William's father, has become more popular than he was at the time of the divorce with Diana and her death. So there really isn't any debate about the royal family in London these days. Uh, very quickly, what next? What should we expect? The baby to go home when? The baby will either go home this evening or tomorrow morning. We expect an announcement of the baby's name and then he will go into training almost from the beginning, not quite, but almost from the beginning to take on that role 
of leading the Commonwealth, 54 nations, uh, 18 of which are African, and also being head of state of 16 countries, of which the United Kingdom is only one. <laughs> A big responsibility, and the media frenzy begins right now. Thank you very much, it, Al. It, yes. <laughs> Al, thanks a lot for updating us uh, from London, our person, our bureau chief in London.